Welcome to MedSurge Mini number 19 on tuberculosis. The pathophysiology behind tuberculosis is that the mycobacterium tuberculosis is inhaled, and that's an infectious particle. That the bacilli, it's a bacilli type particle, then moves through the mucociliary defenses and deposits itself in alveoli. Once it's in the alveoli, it's engulfed by phagocytic pulmonary macrophages. And once it's engulfed, it is then able to replicate and cause infection. The transmission is that it's airborne. The incidence is that it can affect up to one third of the world's population, although we are seeing declined incidence. It is often comorbid with HIV and AIDS. Risk factors for developing tuberculosis or TB is being immunocompromised, homeless, of low socioeconomic status, and a minority. There's different stages of TB infection, starting with the latent tuberculosis infection, or LTBI. This is when granulomas form in the lung tissue and necrotize. The, necro the necrosis leads to fibroids and calcification of the granuloma. And since it's calcified, it prevents the granuloma from growing and causing infection. So we can see these calcifications on x-rays, but they're considered latent because it does not spread and it does not show any symptoms. Most people stay in this stage and it won't progress unless the immune system is compromised. If the immune system is compromised, they enter the second stage, which would be primary tuberculosis infection or PTBI. And this is when the granulomas form, but instead of calcifying, they continue to grow. We would diagnose this stage with a sputum culture and skin test, and they still may be asymptomatic at this point and unable to spread the infection. Once we get to the primary progressive TB infection or PPTBI, symptoms start to develop and we do become infectious. The latent stage or the last, or I'm sorry, not the latent stage, the last stage would be drug resistant M tuberculosis or MDR TB. And this is when infection does not respond to one or more medications that are used to treat TB. So it continues to spread and become more symptomatic and infectious. Symptoms of TB infection would be fatigue, weight loss, night sweats, cough with either rusty or blood tinged sputum, dyspnea, orthopenia, and rails. It is diagnosed through a chest x ray, sputum cultures, or a Manitou skin test. So a Manitou skin test is a um, injection where we place a bulb of fluid underneath the skin. And if it's positive, it forms an induration. It's typically read 48 to um, 72 hours later. Sorry, I had to do the math in my head. Um, and based on the size of the induration can indicate if it's positive or not. We can also do blood tests, um, in particular, the interferon gamma release assay, which could be a T-spot test or quantiferon. Nursing actions for somebody that has developed TB could be airborne isolation, administration of medications, monitoring their nutrition, or direct observed therapy. And this is used if the patient is treating the infection at their home where a nurse would come out to make sure that they're taking their medications properly. Pharmacologically, they would initiate drug therapy for nine to 12 months using a combination of four different medications, isoniazid, rifampin, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol. We could also provide them with humidified oxygen. Nursing problems commonly associated with TB include ineffective airway clearance, alteration in gas exchange, alteration in comfort, ineffective coping, respiratory, or and then medical complications would include respiratory failure, pleural effusions, sepsis, meningitis, lymphadenopathy, bone disease, liver disease, and kidney disease. Our considerations for assessment would be to provide oxygen, um, monitor their vitals, get a sputum culture, and assess their respiration. Education would be to have any family members that are surrounded by this individual to be tested for TB as well, to encourage them and make sure that they're taking their medications as prescribed for the full duration, and to provide them with improved support systems. And that wraps up our medication mini on tuberculosis.